Let's play Two Truths and One Lie. My name is Eric. I like rap music, and I have been to China. I'll let you guys figure that one out. But anyways, let's talk about a rapper I just, I can't stop thinking about. One of the most talented rappers to ever pick up the microphone. Someone who I find incredibly inspirational and, and someone that just from day one has undeniable talent and skill. And I just want to show all of you today what real rap talent looks like because I think I found it. A warm night outside, but I got on my coat. Because I thought, honestly, when I got out at the end result, it's gonna rain. Today we're gonna be talking about a special little Batman fan whose name is Larry. And he is an incredible rapper, just a uh, fantastic entertainer, and one of the greatest editors this platform has ever seen. Okay, so Larry likes to talk about a lot of different kinds of shit. Um... And he likes to instigate a lot of shit. Larry's not a great guy. I'm just gonna I'm gonna break the veil right here. Larry's not a great guy. In fact, I could be making a very different video about Larry. Um, <laughs> because he is quite the unsavory character to say the least. I'm not gonna get super into that because I already know that if he sees this video, he's gonna blow a fucking gasket. So I'll keep the aggression to a, a minimal level. Because like I already know if he sees this, he's gonna make a video, which. Honestly, if he does, I'll make a video about that, because I that might just be kind of funny. Among the insane videos that he makes, he likes to do these little raps and freestyles, and, um... They're a real fucking treat, so, uh, let's just- let's listen to some. You know, I've been rambling for so fucking long, it's been like... I can't read what that says, but it's been like a little while, so let's just let's just get into it. First up, we've got this, uh, a rap that was uploaded about six hours ago as of recording this. Uh, Larry just loves to pump out videos, so we're actually not too dissimilar, him and I, except I make watchable videos, or at least I, I think I do. I'll stop telling you about it, let's just fucking fight. Let's, let's, let's see, I'll let you see for yourself. Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is one of my songs that I wrote many, many years ago. I'm gonna give it to you guys. The song is called Nothing Anymore. It's a song I wrote a long time ago. It's very good. Hope you guys enjoy it. Goes. Yo, people ask why I'm so lazy. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna do this acapella. So I think you all can just tell the the caliber of character that we're gonna be dealing with today. Anything in life, you could ask Larry to do, and he could, he couldn't do it right. But it's especially not fucking singing, Larry. This is the same thing as talking. I know rapping isn't exactly the most you know, musical thing of all time, but but you could still at least try. I'm just gonna kick it to times two speed. I know, and that's that's the zoomer thing. That's like the current meta is to like speed up a video so that you're not wasting the time of the viewer. It's it's just because you're too fucking stupid to pay attention. But whatever. This is just actually, like like CBT. This is just painful, and it's not even like arousing, like 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 smashing my cock. This this just is straight up painful. So let's speed it up. People ask why I'm so lazy. Yo, man, y'all people drive me crazy. People say we don't want your God in your rhymes. You are whack and you are not fine. But I serve God despite what the people think. All right, I may have misjudged it. Let me slow it down a little bit. Some people are fans of my music, and some say I stink. But that's a lie. If it wasn't for Christ, I would give up and I wouldn't try. I'm a guy who gives y'all the gospel to the day I die. The mic is in my hand. I serve God because He's the man, and He has a plan for my life, and He does understand. All I know is I'd like to have my album, boom. I pray that it'll be out soon, soon. I think. So Larry does does this shit like my album, boom. It'll be out soon, soon. You know, just repeating lyrics, which sounds fucking autistic without any kind of backing track or anything. Which it's again Larry's signature lack of uh, effort at all. It's so sad, right? There's so much I can say about Larry, and there's so much I'm not saying about Larry to just not derail this whole video. But it is so incredible how Larry just can't get a single thing right. And also, any of you folks with uh, what are these uh, headphones? Uh, you might notice that it's only in the right ear. I don't even know how Larry does this because he does not edit his videos. I don't think he even knows like how, like what an editing program is. He, I don't think he knows that CapCut is fucking free on a phone. He's, but he's probably got like a Motorola Razor or some shit, and it's like he's got he's probably still got a fucking keypad on his goddamn phone. So he, oh wait, never mind. I just realized he's holding a phone right there. No, I forget what I just said. 
Uh, still, he's fucking stupid and he's a caveman. So I guess, since no one's told you this, Larry, CapCut is free and you can get it on your phone. And I hope you take this seriously because I want to see your videos get better. And actually, let me just tell you, I, I know we're not talking about the music. You, you, none of you understand the history that Larry and I have here. And, and I just, this is finally a time for me to fucking talk to this worm. So, Larry, if, uh, if you want some actual advice from me, uh, get cap cut, edit your fucking videos, stop trying to do this shit in one take, because as we're gonna see when I play it in 45 minutes, you fuck up the bars, which would, wouldn't be any kind of problem if you just cut that part out. Like, we all fuck up our sentences, I'm, I'm the fucking king of that, right, you know? It doesn't fucking matter, because you have the power to cut that shit out in post, but, and Larry, you have that power too, but you are not utilizing it, and I think you should. God, for sure. I'm stuck in a world full of sin, so I feel like I'm nothing anymore. I follow God in all ways. I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith. Because I feel like nothing anymore. Nothing anymore. I follow God in all ways. I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith. Because I feel like nothing anymore. Nothing anymore. The days... Like, I almost want to slap some royalty-free fucking trap beat underneath this just to make it less pathetic in fact i'm gonna i'm not a music producer of any kind but i'm going to take some time i'm going to attempt to turn at least a like like a, like a small portion of this fucking song listenable I, I might do it a little bit later like that, that that might be my my challenge of the video because i can't sing a song better than this but I might be able to improve what you have, Larry. But I'll save that for later, me. Let's continue listening. It's past. I feel like a person that eats grass. Uh, I feel like a donkey, a jackass. I feel like a, um, I feel like a donkey, a jackass. Um, it's just fucking comedic. It's just funny. <clears throat> Jeez, voice crack. Jesus Christ. See, I could have edited that out, but I'm not going to. I just love Larry's lyricism. It's just so inspiring. It's just... Ugh, it makes me feel things that I've never felt before, and it's something I can't truly express. It's a kind of beauty can't truly be put into words. It's it's like that the, the fifth flavor umami, you know? It's just something that most people will never experience, and, and few can really explain. So does taste of ice in the glass. Sometimes I feel like such a mess. Because I go through so much negativity and so much stress. But I must confess that God said to keep my head up and remember that I'm blessed. Satan wants you to do bad stuff like stealing and lying. But God says to keep on trying. I'm glad I have a family and cool stuff. Because God's love is what I need and is enough. I thank God for sure. But it's the devil, the only one that says that I'm nothing anymore. I follow God in all ways. I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith. Because I feel like nothing anymore. Nothing anymore. I follow God in all ways. I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith. Because I feel like nothing anymore. Nothing anymore. Some people say my raps and music are dense. But some are like Revive L is a good rapper who does make sense and I understand what he's saying and his rhymes are intense. He was almost feeling himself there. I'm glad that some understand that I'm a kid. It serves God and gets back up when I slid. I could have run with the devil. I could have hid. God did works. Jesus healed a blind man and made him see. I'm like, how could this be? Satan captured many lives that are with him yet. But God, many were raptured. It's something some people would not understand or get. I'm on the dance floor. And I already came through the door. But God was the love I had been searching for. I'm not a rap expert by any means. I'm completely talking out of my ass. But as I listen to this, I'm, I'm truly realizing what good rapping is. And it's not this. It's it's actually the complete opposite of this, you know? What Larry's doing is, like, intentionally writing one bar, and then the second one, he, like, haphazardly makes it to, like, try to rhyme with that, you know? It's like, uh, like there's a fat cat over there having sex with that rat, and I'm like, oh, shit, I just shat all over my lats, uh. It's just like trying to scramble to find any rhyming word, you know? Larry, another little, little piece of advice for you, uh, look up rhymezone.com. But no, what I'm realizing makes good rap is that every line is, is well-crafted with intent and purpose and reason. It, it's not just, I give a shit about the first line and then the second line, it only exists to make shit rhyme. Now I know people try to get me down, so I'm nothing anymore without God. I follow God in all ways, I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith. Cause I feel like nothing anymore, nothing anymore. I follow God in all ways, I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith. Cause I feel like nothing anymore, nothing anymore. 
I follow God in all ways. I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I got to be strong and keep up the faith because I feel like nothing anymore. Nothing anymore. I follow God in all ways. I follow what he says and pray. I can make it through the days. I got to be strong and keep up the faith because I feel like nothing anymore. Nothing anymore. Word up. Revive L. 2024. R-I-V-I-V-E-L. Putting it down for y'all. Word up. Did any of you understand what the fuck he just said in, in like the last 10 seconds? Because I sure as hell didn't. Anyways, that was a pretty fire little rap there, Larry. Let's move on to another one. So this one is a hecking epic freestyle rap. So I can only imagine the type of on the fly lyricism that we're going to get here. So I, I'm just I'm giddy with excitement. Let's go. Yo, I just got out of work. I see it was raining earlier. I ain't complaining. I'm just gonna be maintaining. But damn, man, see this rain all over the. Oh shit! He already, he's already started. He's coming in hot. I I thought he was gonna have like a little, little intro before he started, but he just like came in swinging. Wow, it's all wet. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Hear the sound. See what I'm saying now. Honestly, that's just kind of cute. I just I just felt like a warm feeling in my heart when he did that. That was just honestly adorable. I got nothing shitty to say about that. The rain stopped, so it ain't raining now. Doing what I can, yeah, just head it out. <laughs> the rain is stopped, so it ain't raining now. Larry, your brain is an enigma. Out of my job, now I'm headed home. So I just record here while I'm walking on my cellular phone. I'm in the zone, y'all already know, I know how to rap, don't matter that I'm white, cause that's a bunch of racist crap. For those of those black, and those that's Latina to say that there is no white rappers other than Eminem. The stance of a white person is very hard for them to make it in the rap game. Like, I'm not gonna contribute to any debate whether, like, white people should be rapping. I, th I don't think it really fucking matters, it's just music, but, um... Larry, you are making such a bad case for letting white people rap because you are probably one of the worst ambassadors we could have sent in. Ever since Eminem came in, he opened up the door, so why would you still complain? Plenty of rappers out there that's white, little white, Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice sucks and his most popular song is a plagiarized piece of shit. Don't even fucking talk to me about Vanilla Ice or his shitty fucking haircut. About the Beastie Boys in the House of Pain. Don't forget about Paul Wall and Mac Miller. <clears throat> so many other rappers that was white that I could talk about right now and be the realest. You could talk about all the great white rappers all day, Larry, but you will never be one of them. The Rilla. To make you wanna shake and make you wanna shiver. Stand my ground, be tall, breathe fire like I was Godzilla. Uh. Girlfriend living out in Leon Cayunion, not Manila. But she's from that part of area of the Philippines, and I know her name. She is my number one dream. Her name happens to be Christine. Does anyone else just feel like gross and uncomfortable? Like the bugs underneath your skin just start like tingling? Just looking at Larry? Like, like his videos just make me feel like I'm being molested through the screen. It's, it's uncomfortable. I'm thinking tomorrow with mom, we're going to go to the grocery store. Got to buy myself some new, some new clothes and got to get myself some Listerine. Some more toothpaste and some more bread. More coke meat because I need it for my lunch. Only Larry can be the lyrical genius to just put his grocery list as a rap. And it actually works. It sounds like fucking amazing. God damn, I might have to I might have to add a backing track to you know what? I'm gonna i I'm gonna check out one more video and then at the end I'm gonna I'm gonna try and improve all three. So be sure to stick around for that one. And I got two boxes of the Capri Sun lemonade and I couldn't forget the fruit punch. So it's all good. It's all gravy. Saying what up to my fans on YouTube. You don't have any, Larry. Wavy. My hand and I stand. I'm the man. The lyrical poet with the master plan. I stand at six foot seven. The white phenomenon. I refuse to believe that Larry is six seven. There is no fucking way. I think he might be like five six, five seven. I will actually saw my legs off if Larry is six seven. Because there is no fucking way. There is, there is, in, in, like, if Doctor Strange peered into every possible universe, there is not one of them where Larry is 6'7". I refuse to fucking believe that. 
I already told you I rap. I can't stop rapping. I just keep continuing to go on and on. And thank God for that. I mean, you're a, you're a real talent, Larry. Doing what I can to get by, trying to make my money. Ask my boss when, if I could come in today. He said that on Wednesday. He said, all right. So I just earned myself a new, another 200 bucks. This is one of those things that I find just so strange about Larry. He overshares. And I mean, what he overshares isn't, you know, gross or disgusting or like weird. It's just like... Why? It, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's this weird, almost uncanny valley, right? Where just, I don't want to hear about your day, Larry. It, this is such an uncomfortable, and he does this all the time. I even like made like an edit on my, there's like a, there's like a, a parody video on my channel that's just making fun of the fact that Larry overshares fucking everything. He would so benefit from just a few well-placed cuts in his videos, you know, where just the weirder shit that he says. I guess it's not even that weird. Just saying like, oh, I, I, uh, I asked my boss for so, so if I could work today, and he said yeah. So uh, that's another extra two hundred bucks in my pocket. It's just like uh, there's just something so uncomfortable to me about sharing this this weird everyday stuff. Like it, it, it this is more of a comedic thing, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but I it just it makes me itch, and I I can't really. Like, I can't figure out how to say why, you know, I, I hope someone else could understand this and maybe, uh, you know, find the words that I can't, but, but Larry makes me uncomfortable. But when I started walking in from the, from outside earlier today, I was like, man, the rain's coming down. This really sucks, but that's okay. Still made my money for today. Despite the rain, still can't complain. Try to maintain and I made my pay anyway. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow I'm going to be working as well. And then the next day too, because I got to make decent money. Got to make a few days, get my money in before next Friday when I get paid. Got it made. In the shade. Practically. Hey. I'm like a ghost right now. You could barely see my face. I said a lot of a lot of mean shit to Larry this time. You know, the first time we ever made fun of Larry, I'd say it wasn't it wasn't that bad. I've been a little more venomous towards him this time, but but that was honestly that was some, that was just great lyricism. Honestly, I can't I can't dog on him for that. That was beautiful. Thankful for God's grace, and I'm running that rat race. No, gotta do. All right, this 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 video is like 45 minutes fucking long. I'm I'm just gonna move on to the next one. I th I think. Uh, ugh. I think we've really seen all there is to see from this one. Maybe he says some crazier shit further on, but it's so hot in this goddamn room. I want to get this video over with. So let's just, uh, let's, let's, let's move on. So we've got another freestyle here. That's literally the name of the video. Not that the title is going to be very like relevant to any of you, because I almost guarantee that when Larry sees this video, he's going to take down all of these because I'm making fun of him. Some of you might think you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, big bully punching down on some, some poor, poor old guy who's just trying to have fun. I'm neglecting to, to, to say, I, I know I'm being so fucking cryptic, fucking hug box or whatever. It's nothing too serious, but it's just like Larry, like I said, Larry and I have some history and I might, I might share that in another video. I'm probably going to say it on the podcast, honestly, but I don't like Larry and he, he deserves it. I'm just, I'll just say that he deserves it. I'm not being just some asshole out of nowhere. I actually completely forgot where I was going with this. Uh, fuck you, Larry. Yo, check this out. Freestyle off the top of my head. Yo, 2024. Dude, the top of his head is sharp as fuck. Like, I, I feel like if you fell on his head, you'd, you'd get impaled. He probably, like, stuck his head in, like, a fucking pencil sharpener or some shit. Because that, that looks insane. I'm just a nice white guy, and I'm sitting here chilling. But... Uh, a white guy, yes. But not nice. Larry, you are not nice. Oh, actually, I just remembered. Yeah, he's he's going to delete the videos uh, that that are, are mentioned here in this video because he's a coward and doesn't like when uh, he looks bad. Except the funny thing is, Larry, every video you post makes you look bad. So <laughs> deleting the, the three videos that I, I go over today is not going to help you. So don't even fucking bother. I know you're still going to do it. Day off of work, Lord willing. Maybe in an hour or so, I'll start grilling up some grilled cheese and eating some of those along with some peas and some corn. Again, it's just this uncomfortable transparency. It's just, why? Why, why would you tell us any of this? Why, Larry? Why? I was born August 16th, 1992. We got about two weeks away from my birthday. Hooray. Can hardly wait. It's going to be great. I'm going swimming with some friends without no debate. His flow sucks and he can't pick a fitting word to save his goddamn life. I mean, holy, holy, goddamn motherfucking shit. He gave, he's giving me a goddamn stroke. 
just thinking about all this it's it's crazy the kind of this the the effect he has on people it's truly impressive i really want to go to a nice restaurant afterwards and hear the words of a saying right now i know i found sound so disturbed so perturbed i'm just wrapping up the top of my head doing my best sitting on my bed my legs are spread out and everything is cool. We didn't need to know that. That's just gross. You, usually I wouldn't be like a, a fucking... Um, you shouldn't be doing that. But like, Larry, looking at your face makes me get chills. And it's currently like 96,000 degrees in my room. And so, that, and so I should probably say something that I, I don't want to hear about how spread your legs are. Or how you're chilling in... I can fucking see you're chilling in bed, Larry. This is like the, the fucking, hey, you up type angle. It's, it's so gross, Larry. It's talking about random things. It's what I want to do. So yeah, I like have a birthday coming up and I'm really excited for that. I really hope it doesn't suck. The only way it would suck is if that nobody shows up. Larry has to be like a five-year-old stuck in a 32-year-old man's body because that was one of the most infantile set of bars I've ever heard. And honestly, I it's it's just it's impressive. I keep saying it's impressive, and I really mean it's impressive the, the type of lyricism that Larry can cook up. And I'm just sitting here all day in my room feeling bored. If only Jordan lived closer, he could join me on my expedition. As long as he respects me and my friends, because most of them are Christians. There's only a few that don't believe. I know it seems going to join around, join me on my uh, birthday. I'm sure he will be ready to receive a fun time with us. He's a nice guy along with his wife, Saudia, and his daughter, Sophia. They are people that I do trust. Saudia's really helped me out with some nice rides. When I need to get back home, she's willing to oblige. But that's because she knows that I'm her husband's good friend, so she doesn't mind helping me out in the end. Hopefully Joseph sees this and knows that his mom owes him and his wife 30 bucks because she didn't make it to his party when it came to the dinner time, and she got to pay him back the money. Otherwise, man, it really sucks. <laughs> Dude. Only from Larry. Only from fucking Larry could you get some shit like that. Again, this video is about an hour long, so I I don't think I can stomach much more, honestly. It's so hot in this room, and even though I have a war-hardened stomach for this shit, I, I don't think I can handle much more, so. That was Larry the Batman fan. That was some of his incredible lyricism, and now I want to take the time to, to do a little bit of, of work of my own and help Larry out a little bit, you know, since... I have the power of editing tools and he does not. I will try to improve these freestyles just, just a little bit, you know, brother to brother. Yo, check this out. Freestyle off the top of my head, yo. 2024. I'm just a nice white guy and I'm sitting here chilling. My day off from work, Lord willing. Maybe in an hour or so, I'll start grilling up some grilled cheese and eating some of those along with some peas and some corn. I was born August 16th, 1992. We got about two weeks away from my birthday. Hooray, can't hardly wait. It's gonna be great. I'm going swimming with some friends without no debate. Hopefully they will be around so that we could all go. Hopefully my brother get the time off so he can also go. I really want to go to a nice restaurant afterwards. I hear the words of Hussein right now. I know I found, sound so disturbed, so perturbed. I'm just wrapping up the top of my head, doing my best, sitting on my bed. My legs are spread out and everything is cool. People ask why I'm so lazy. Yo man, y'all people drive me crazy. People say we don't want you God in your rhymes. You're a whack and you are not fine. But I serve God despite what the people think. Some people are fans of my music and some say I stink. That's a lie. If it wasn't for Christ, I would give up and I wouldn't try. I'm a guy who gives y'all the gospel till the day I die. The mic is in my hand. I serve God cause he's the man And he has a plan for my life and he does understand All I know is like to have my album boom I pray that it'll be out soon soon I thank God for sure I'm stuck in a world full of sin so I feel like I'm nothing anymore 
I follow God in all ways, I follow what he says and pray, I can make it through the days. I gotta be strong and keep up the faith, cause I feel like nothing anymore. Rain and stop, so it ain't raining now. Doing what I can, yeah, just headed out of my job. Now I'm headed home, so I just record here while I'm walking. I'm on cellular phone. I'm in the zone, y'all already know. I know how to rap. Don't matter that I'm white. That's a bunch of racist crap. For those those black and those that Latinos that say that there is no white rappers other than Eminem. Rappers out there that's white, vanilla ice. Don't forget about the Beastie Boys in the House of Pain. Don't forget about Paul Wall and Mac Miller. So many other rappers that was white that I could talk about right now and be the realest. To make you wanna shake and make you wanna shiver. Stand my ground, be tall, breathe fire like I was Godzilla. Can't stop rapping, I just keep continuing to go on and on. It's a warm night outside, but I got on my coat. Cause I thought honestly when I got out at the end result, it's gonna rain. Still can't complain, try to maintain, and I made my pay. Tomorrow is another day. Gee willikers, well those were sure something, weren't they? Have just, uh, some of the best music you've ever heard. You know, there could be a possible Schnorpel X Larry the Batman fan collab in the future. So, so you know, watch out for that. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to end this video here. Um, if you liked it, like it. All that fucking song and dance. Check out my podcast, The Stake Over. It should add about seven inches to your penis the minute you press play on Spotify or YouTube. So uh, yeah, with all that being said, see ya.